keep California cowgirls from vanishing. Welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. Training our horses and miniature cows in ranch versatility. Penny, Rusty and Susie, our bull, and heifer. Roping Rusty with Morgan Horse, Sammy. Training Eve to drive cart. Training Eve to work over her haunches with a motor cow simulator. Training Eve to lay down. Training Eve to harness, pull a log. Training Semi to harness, pull a log on turf. Jumping at liberty to music, making our Morgan horses our partners. Training Eve on a cow roping simulator. Training on our driveway, which is covered by sand, so we have a straight track. Stepping over poles, jumping over crossbar jumps. Training in our trail obstacles area. Semi on the big steps. Morgan Horse Sadie doing obstacles rainlessly. Semi drives a cart. Sadie pulls a log. Sadie learns to pull a cart. Miniature Zebu Heifer Susie learns to drive a cart. Bull Rusty learns to pull a harrow. We're working on hip over with forward motion, followed by a lead request in the direction of the hip. With Sadie out here on the turf, we're trying to get a consistent hip over and then a request for a canter from a walk. And that was good. We got a left lead and the hip was over to the left. We're just going to show you little bits and pieces of these sessions, which may be going on for weeks or months until we get consistent answers without the little whoopies that sometimes we get because we are tickling with the spur. Okay, we just got a left lead and a whoopee, but I didn't have the camera on, so we're going to do it again. Um, we're, we're almost exceeding Sadie's attention span here. We know that. She's a young horse. We want one more right answer if we can get it today, even if we get a whoopee along with it. So we want hip over to the left, and she's uh, presently, Katie's presently get, getting hip over to there, hip over to the left. And she got it, the left lead. That was our one more right answer for today. Working with Sammy in the arena, see how we got that hip over to the left. At a walk. She's a little bit nervous, we can see that in her mouth, but. All right, now on the way back, Katie, if you've got the hip over without too much stress, just do a kiss and the uh, signal for a canter with a left lead. We're trying to keep things simple here and we're just doing left today. You got it. You got the left lead. See what happens when you come back. Oh, she's a little bit nervous. Okay, you know what? Just w walk around or take her away. Back her up. Left. There you go. You got that hip over. Yes, you got it. Good. Maybe this is going to be our portal in to counter canter. Right now, I grant you we're doing it on a straightaway. 
But eventually, as long as the horses understand our signals, as long as we can, yes, you've got it again. As long as we can get the body parts moving the way we want, we're going to be able to ask for a counter canter, we think. And we're going to show you. Hip to the left. Got it. Beautiful. A short video detour to show you Semi's progress in desensitization to white vinyl styrene jumps. And we are also going to show you Semi's progress in jump, white vinyl jump desensitization. She is doing very well. Before we turn the camera on, she did very well. Now let's see what happens after we asked her to do a little bit of hip over. We, what we're doing with her is each and every time we ride her here, go up to the fence, calm her down, and let her go over the white vinyl styrene rails. The jump standards are vinyl, the rails are wood-filled styrene, but they're white. And that is what we're desensitizing Semi to each and every time. Good. Okay, now she doesn't walk over them, but she doesn't bolt over them like she used to. So we're very, very pleased with her progress. Do it one more time, if you would, in each direction. We do it two, three times every time we ride her. And we, we go close to the, the rails, the jumps, so that she doesn't think that she has to bolt. There, good. Eventually we'll be able to go around a jump course and get her to jump over without her having to bolt, but that will take a while, but that's okay. We're patient, we're repetitive, and we're pleased with her progress. And we wanna show you, she's walking up nicely. Good. There, very good. Now she's gonna go on a short but pleasant trail ride. In the arena, we got Sadie to consistently pick up a requested lead on a short straight path, but only in one direction or the other, not in both directions. Here are some clips. Today in the arena, trying to get her to bring that hip over to the left, like that. And we want consistent answers from her, correct answers. And then we may or may not try the counter canner. We really think that that is the key to getting the counter canner. Have push button, hip over, correct answers. Okay, going in the other direction. Yeah, we're trying to aim for the corner post of the diagonal and keep that hip over with forward motion. And we're trying to do it with Sadie until we get no resistance, then we'll try to see if she'll pick up the canter with that lead that we're requesting by bringing the hip over. Well, we were asking uh, for a left and uh, we got a left lead. So we're making progress. Let's see, going the other direction. Again, this is on a straightaway. We're gonna refine this until we can get it in a circle. Ah, you got the right lead that time, Katie. We use petting and don't worry, we'll be patient. Got it. Left lead, good. Let's try it the other direction and then let's give her a reward of a short, pleasurable trail ride. Hip over to the left. Straight away, request. Nope. Got the right lead. We're having more trouble in that direction. Going back in that direction. You see she's upset. Sadie's a little bit upset. Something about this direction that makes it harder for her. Nope, the right lead. Nope. 
Nope, right lead again. There's our problem. This direction, going from south corner to north corner. Trying again, she seems to be settled down a bit. Southeast corner to northwest corner. That's our challenge. She's got that hip over. She's going forward. Nope. Didn't get that left lead. Wrong lead again. This time, just to do it differently, try to get that left hip over, and then in the instant that you feel it's over, ask for the canter. Let's see what happens. It's over now. Nope, right lead when we wanted the, well, we decided to try something. Maybe there's a stiffness in one direction that doesn't exist in the other. So we're trying the right hip over with a right lead request. Let's see if we can get that, at least in the bad direction for the left lead request. So going on that diagonal, do right hip over and uh, ask for the canter. Let's see if we get the right lead. We did, we did. And we got the left lead. When we ask for the right lead, going in the same direction on the same line that when we asked for the left lead it was easy, the right lead was not, and vice versa. Still left. You see, left in that direction when she was asking for the right hip. That's almost consistent right now. Let's see if we can get the right hip and right lead. Yeah, we got the right lead. Okay, we were kind of confused and we think we've summarized it. In this direction, the left lead request works. Yes, and in this upcoming direction, the right lead request works. Hip to the right. Right lead request. We got it. Okay, here's an interview with Katie, because she was aboard this whole time, and although she and I discussed it, it's your turn to listen to what Katie has to say about how she felt and what we're going to do next. Um, I think she's just confused and she just picks up what lead feels more comfortable to her and doesn't quite understand that we're asking for something that she's not giving us. So I don't I don't know what we're going to do about it, but we'll have to work on it, I guess. Okay, but it was, we've got it to uh, be consistent. Yeah. It failed consistently. Yeah. And then it passed consistently. So uh, it's almost like, why would the lead be more comfortable going in a straight line in one direction versus the other? Yeah. I wonder if we just aren't keeping her straight, if we don't realize that she's bulging at the shoulder, or, or is the view going this direction so radically different than the view and the distractions going this direction? Well, we don't know yet. We'll let you know when we figured it out. Here we asked Sadie to serpentine at a trot in the large turf pasture. With Sadie, we brought her back out to the turf and we're just trying to get a good handle on her trotting with serpentine motions. We're not ready to ask her to canter out here on the turf. And we had a little trouble getting consistently right answers in the arena yesterday. So we brought her back out to the turf. We're going to do small step requests. Can we get her to serpentine out here in the wide open green spaces? There you go. Good. 
real specific requests to move those four quarters, serpentine around, but at a consistent jog. That was real good, Brianna. Let's try it again in the other direction. And that's all we want to do today is jogging on the turf with a serpentine. Real light on the reins. There you go. But definitely left and right, lateral motion. Good, good. Some more of that before we try the canter again. And we'll probably try the canter in the arena again next time we ride Sadie. Just a lot of lateral motion request here out on the turf in the wide open spaces where she has long paths to travel and no immediate fences to deal with. Good, Brianna. That's all we want to do with Sadie over and over and over again. Sammy does counter canter lead requests. Requested lead along the fence. In other words, the counter canter. Yes, that's a left lead. Beautiful. She's going to request right. Let's see if we get it. Nope, you got left. Let's see if we can get a right lead. And then that's all we're going to do for today. Nope, you got left. That's two lefts in a row. Now we're requesting right and we're getting left. We're going to try to get that hip more distinctly over to the right and then request. The problem is my fence line is rather short for this kind of exercise. Sammy's getting worked up. We hope we can show you one successful right hip over, right lead. You got it. You got it. So we're going to stop on a good note. That's our note of resolution for today. Okay, a uh, interview with Katie. We think maybe we know what's really important to getting the requested lead. Um, I think asking them to even walk and, and not track themselves gets them worked up. So it takes a lot of walking around in between asking for the canners to calm them down and keep them focused on you. And then also, I think what I wasn't doing with Sadie was having her hip over enough. Because if their hip's completely over, then they have to take the opposite lead. But if their hip's only slightly over, they're still going to take the lead that they want. So what would you do next time when you ride Sadie to get that hip over enough? Just work it at a, tr at a walk first, I'd say. Uh-huh. And more spur pressure on her hip. Uh-huh. When, uh, when she might do some whoopies. <laughs> she might. But that's okay. She doesn't really box. She just says whoopee. Yeah. Here is a sample of what we will be doing with Sadie for the next few weeks in order to get her to be comfortable with hip over while going forward with impulsion. Just to see if we can move front end and back end and yet keep lightness with her bit. Gina, who used to ride Sadie last year, arrived today and remembered some of the things she did with Sadie to build a relationship with her. And so I invited Gina to get up on Sadie and see if she could, yeah, get lightness. Gina remembered that she did have Sadie picking up certain leads at request last year, but that Sadie didn't keep them for very long. We're trying to go straight paths, yeah, with the hip over in one direction or the other without getting Sadie agitated. She certainly is keeping vertical flexion, seems to be somewhat light, and we'll do an interview with Gina when we're done with this very short session to see how she felt and what she recommends for next step with the Shadrach Sun and Shine Sadie, my youngest Morgan Mare, who is learning 
how to give us leads at our request. There, she's getting that hip over. Nice, nice. It sure is almost a dressage movement. And it's going to take a lot of small step repetition. As a matter of fact, Gina will probably be working with Sadie for the next month or so. Okay, Gina's going to tell us from her point of view how it was on Sadie after not having ridden her for, oh, at least six months. Huh? All right. Uh, yeah, so like Sonny said, I haven't been on her for a few months. But I guess they've been trying to work with uh, counter canner and leg yields, which I was trying to do with her just now, um, moving her haunch and her uh, shoulders over, trying to be as square as possible on a diagonal and moving over at the same time. Um, I was just trying to work with having her being balanced and moving my back leg so that the haunch would move over. Um, and getting her head and her whole body just as centered and relaxed as possible just by trying to give her uh, just simple cues. And cause Sadie gets uh, frustrated really easily. So I think working with simple cues on her is kind of what we were doing a few months ago too. She feels a little bit better. Um, a little more, I guess, responsive to what I was trying to tell her than um, a few months ago. So. Oh, that's good feedback. Yeah. So we have made some progress, but <clears throat> we sure have some goals yet that we need to reach. And I hope you can help us, Gina. On my driveway track, notice we're getting, yes, we got the hips over easily. And then we got the left lead. That's what we were asking for. That was excellent. Without fences, uh, a little, little bit longer path than we have in the arena. And uh, what we're going to do is see if we can get some consistent lead requests properly done here on the driveway track. Okay, we're going to try it again. We want left lead. We're going to try to get left lead going each direction. Let's see if we can get it without her getting upset. Left hip over. Got it. Got it. Left lead. Going a little bit too fast, but once we get these this counter canner down so that we can get it by request, we're going to use it to slow down that canner. Okay, now from um, this direction, we're going to go for a left lead again. This is called my east-west driveway track. She sends a little bit. See, she gets, after we've asked for the uh, lead request a few times, she gets kind of hyper. So we know we're just going to have to do it in short sessions. See if we can get her to do it again going this direction. And then we feel we definitely met our objective, our interim success objective with Shadrat, Triton Semi, and hip over for lead requests. <coughs> See if we can do it this direction. See, she's done it a couple times before I turn on the camera, but you know, there's kind of like a point past which you don't want to ask if you could possibly stop on a good note. Let's see if we can get it. Hip over. Got it. Got it, we got the left lead again. But once again, too fast. So we're gonna work on doing it over and over and over again and then use it as a tool to slow down that canner. Preparing for right hip over and right lead requests on the north-south driveway track. We're loping with Semi again today. You can see that we're loping her around our manure bins and chicken pen. It's a fenceless area. It's not an arena, but it's a sanded area. And as soon as we feel like we're ready to ask for a hip over, we're going to ask her to hip over to the right and lope down this straight path, which is my north-south driveway track, as I call it. A long straight path with sanded driveway 
The idea being, give us a long straight path to pick up that lead request, get that hip over, pick up the lead request, and maintain it. We were finding that Semi was rather excitable. Exciting, excited. So we're doing some exercises to get her focus to calm her down. You can see that the serpentine, which we've used a lot with Sadie, is a real good lateral exercise with forward impulsion and a focus gathering exercise. Remember, this is a wide open driveway. No fences on either side that's enclosing her. This is exciting to Semi. There's some people behind me doing some gardening. Sometimes this happens when you're asking for something, you lose the concentration, so you go back and try to gather it up again. Get that focus. Now Katie asks Semi for a hip over to get the right lead on the driveway north-south track north-south track. We just got a good right hip over, right lead request. Let's see if we can do it again. Now, if she's not soft and supple, light at the mouth, we just abort. Go back and try again. Or do what we have to do to settle her down. We didn't do a lot of running uh, today, as we did yesterday because we wanted to make sure that we gave Semi every opportunity not to be nervous. She gets kind of nervous when we ask for hip over, and so do the other horses. It's an unusual feeling that they have. Got it. We got it. And we know if we can do it once in both directions that all we have to do is practice, practice, practice. Coming the other direction. It's a bit windy, but it's a very, very warm day. Some serpentines again. And then as soon as Katie asked for the hip over, you can see that there was agitation. So back to the exercises. Nice and slow. But then as soon as she gives that leg pressure, you can see we're dealing with a bit of agitation. And this is the other direction. And she got it. She got it. So it's the other direction. There are different distractions ahead in either direction, but we've got it once in both directions, and now we'll just practice. Our cast of characters, Sadie and Eve. Sammy. Rusty. For Calf Sila. For more information, triple W, cowgirlchannel.com.